Hey guys, it's Gameplay Horizon here and welcome to AFK Journey. To be honest, I am not a native speaker of English nor fluent in speaking English and I am a Filipino. I want to deliver these uh, basic tips uh, for beginners in a clear voice so I use uh, some synthesized English voice for this video so that the players can understand it uh, very well. So before we proceed, uh, let's uh, check first uh, these uh, rewards here in which uh, we have here the Journey's Gift in which you can obtain here some uh, recruitment cards on uh, day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4, until day 7. And uh, you can uh, obtain this uh, select uh, hero chest epic. And also we have here all heroes available. So as you log in, I already logged in and I got this valent. You can have uh, all of these heroes guys as you can see and also some of uh, these resources here in order to uh, progress or level up your heroes. And uh, we have here, okay, this is day 28, S level hero. And we have here also some uh, day 56 that is uh, S level hero, guys. And uh, these are, okay, a random uh, S level heroes, as you can see. And we have here also some uh, primal lord, in which uh, you should uh, reach a dark forest 5 to unlock this. And uh, we have here also uh, follow us rewards, in which uh, you can obtain here some diamonds and some uh, basic resources. So before so much ado, let's proceed to our basic beginner tips, guys. Let's roll that video. Tip number one. After creating your account, try to progress far enough until you unlock the guild and create a guild or join one as soon as possible. It'll have a lot more extra rewards for you to claim, as well as unlocking the guild store. After joining a guild, it would be best for new players to buy all the daily discounted invite letters and acorns. Tip number two. When you have just started, your max AFK duration will be very low, less than a day, so it is best that you log in at least twice a day to claim the AFK rewards. Tip number three. Legend trials have a limit of 20 stages of gap between each faction. All faction trials will be opened on Sundays, so that's the most suitable time for you to make up for the missing stages. Tip number four. Progressing in the main story also gives you generous rewards. Try to get them as soon as possible so that you'll have an advantage in modes that send out rewards based on rankings such as Dream Realm and Arena. Tip number five. Pay attention to those glowing spots on the ground, not marked on the map. Although they only give a small amount of hero essence and gold, it's also accumulating a good amount of resources. Tip number six. In early game, hero levels and equipment will have the most obvious improvements to stats, so prioritize these two for development. As for equipment, I recommend that you focus your forging resources on marksman class, especially the weapon. Equipment of mage and rogue will have lower priority in early game, so you can ignore investing into them temporarily. Tip number seven. Artifacts or spells can provide a great boost to stats and a strong skill. It doesn't require much resources and I recommend you max it out if it is possible. Tip number eight. When using three or more heroes from the same faction, they will gain extra attack and HP accordingly from faction bonus. I recommend you to take this into consideration when planning your battle formations. Great. Try to turn off the auto battle. Sometimes manually utilizing the ultimate skills could have worked better. Example, Smokey and Mirky using ultimate skill when all allies are at full health or using ultimates with crowd control capabilities to disrupt enemies' ultimate skills. Tip number nine. Although the standard way of placements are tanks in front, supports in the middle and DPS or carry in the back, but when you're against enemies that has higher power than you, try placing all your heroes in a horizontal straight line. Let the middle and back line heroes split the enemy's damage to lessen your tank's burden.
Tip number 10. AFK stages are related to your AFK gains, I recommend that you try and challenge more stages after leveling up daily to maximize your AFK rewards. Tip number 11. Utilize the auto battle function wisely. If you have similar or higher power than the enemies, you can utilize this function to progress through stages so you're free to do something else. Tip number 12. Currently, the daily rewards of the Dream Realm far exceed the others, so I recommend that you invest in heroes that are strong in the Dream Realm such as OD, Merrily, and Corinne. Dream Realm where you're farming ground of some basic resources and try to check this gameplay and see the resources that I farmed. Tip number 13. Since you can log into the game multiple times a day, I recommend that you challenge the Dream Realm once per login so you can take a bit more rewards to help level up your heroes. You can use up all the challenge attempts if it's your last login and after you have finished the last level up for the day. Tip number 14. Arena is far more competitive while having mediocre rewards, it's less cost effective to invest in it, so new players don't need to invest too much into it early on. Since you can log into the game multiple times a day, I recommend that you only start challenging the arena after your last level up for the day. This gives you a higher chance of winning and opponents with higher arena points will reward you with more points after winning. Tip number 15. In the early game, to rank up you need to focus on ensuring victory. Try to challenge opponents with lower power only. Don't try to challenge opponents with similar or higher battle power than you. Other than the daily free challenge attempts, you can also click on the plus button at the upper right. To get two more free challenge attempts, I recommend you use up all the attempts daily. Tip number 16. Still in the arena, advancing in rankings not only gives you a generous one-time reward, but also increases your daily gains through completing tasks and mystic collection and unlocking the advantages. If you're not far from advancing ranks, I recommend you to spend diamonds on challenge attempts since it's very cost effective as well. Tip number 17. Arcane Labyrinth enables point rewards every two weeks, which grants a lot of rewards. I recommend you to only work on Arcane Labyrinth on the week that has point rewards enabled. There are bonus points heroes in Arcane Labyrinth every week. As long as you include them in the Explorer's squad, you'll be able to get those bonus points. You don't need to use them, so whether they're built or not doesn't matter. Tip number 18. Battle drills are more difficult for new players. If you are unable to clear the current guard pieces, you can wait for the more experienced players to attack it. Try to use your energy on attacking elite guard pieces and boss fights. Battle drills require a lot of investment, which usually are the top guilds competing for the ranks. As a normal player, just completing the missions to be eligible for rank 5 chests or rewards is enough. 